Malacca, home to art and the crafts of Peranakan culture. From the various crafts this town offers, Baba Nyonya culture is the most prominent of them all. We strolled around the city. We decided to ask one of the local shoemakers about the Nyonya heritage and the art of beaded shoes. Is there any history behind behind Baba Nyonya beadwork? History. I think they have. They have stories. But, uh, but the lady, the girls, were very young. They had to start practicing sewing the beads. The beads. So the men will come to the house mm -hmm. and see the work. If the work very neat, very good. So the the men. Oh. So it's traditionally girls work and yeah. Baby. First they have to sew the, the beaded upper, yeah. mm -hmm. the pattern. Okay, the pattern. Uh, after finishing the pattern, they will bring here to make shoes. Popular forever. Yeah. Popular forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. Is there any like specific colors or characteristics that really represent the Baba Nyonya beadwork? Like oh, well, sometimes. You see the the costume dresses, the kebaya. What color? So the matching the this color. Example, the flower. Is there any special meaning, or is just for aesthetic? Flower is just for woman. For woman, represent woman. Men, men is different. Men's the shape is different. Different shape. Yeah, this for men. Do you know how to take care of the shoes so it's not broken? Rainy day, you can't wear. Oh. Wet. So oh. The tray easy to break. Oh, okay, okay, okay. May not wet lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do Uncle think of the shoes future? Is it? Oh, this popular forever. Okay. Where do the customers come from? Like, is it from young generations or every age? Oh no, this. It's very popular shoes, mm -hmm. so every everybody very interested about the every Baba age. Nonia shoes. So they use the shoes for daily basis or like for special occasion. Sometimes the wedding, the party, the reunion. Not far from Wahaik, we stumbled upon another local craftsman who focused on creating the toe cap of these unique shoes. What is that, Andy? Oh, for the shoe. shoe. Yeah, this one the this one. Yeah. This one the different. This one the open toe. And then this one is the foot. Oh, for the body. Yeah. Yeah, only the top. Only the top. To get a further insight into the background culture of these beadworks, we decided to visit a Baba Nyonya museum located in the heart of Malacca. The history of the Nyonya beadwork, like how did they start using the beads? Like why? Oh, it was when the Dutch government arrived, so they are more influencing at the moment. So in the middle of 16th century up to 17th century. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so since it was arranged marriage, mm -hmm. that one, the one will choose for the right woman or for the future wife of the husband is the mother-in-law. She, wa uh, she will ask the lady if she can show the right skills doing the bedded shoes, embroidery, stitching. So this one is the f first set that she need to do in front of the mother-in-law. Oh. So after she pass, maybe the, the mother-in-law would say, ah, your handcraft is good. So she is the one can say that you can marry my son. The beads that made of glass and imported from Europe, as you can see, so small and tiny. During this type of dressing. So this one is more on your grandmother and this one, the transparent dress uh, for the middle age. And then this one, the shorter one, for modern or for the young generation. But this one is the typical for the Baba Nyonya woman dressing up. 
and that one as you could see china's culture because they have to say uh showing what the difference is between the nunya and the pure chinese lady this one is belongs to the men because in the late century they use that one only look taller during if they go to a party or a special occasion how they identify the shoe is belongs to the woman and to the boys as you could see the shoes is look similar so this one the shape is outer u shape is shape is like that but this one the shape is u shape so the u shape is for the female and the outer u shape is for the men so that's the two way how they identify so you could see the differences already between the two shoes this is for the men and that one is for the female after gathering information from three different sources in Malacca, we realized that Baba Nyonya is still relevant until this day. Despite the intricate process and the need for advanced craftsmanship, this generation's long craft still finds its way to survive in today's ever-changing world.